So let's get back to the Mormon wives and we'll be able to compare Salt Lake City to Salt Lake Set. So we open with Macy and Michaela and Whitney's coming over and they're both like, we know Whitney didn't show up at this party to make it all about her. Oh, Whitney's husband made soup for the girls. Yeah, he gay. So Whitney's like, yeah. Taylor's mom even called me. Everyone was so concerned. And I was like, enjoy your event. It doesn't matter that I'm not there. And it didn't. It didn't even cross my mind to text her. I really didn't think it was going to be a big deal. You know it was going to be a big deal. Your friends know what you pull and they know you want to be Queen B. So now we're over at Zach and Jen's house. He going to medical school. His pappy is surgeon. And the hospital his pappy work at is the same hospital that Jen's mama is a cleaning lady at. So this is the first time Taylor's gonna see Whitney. I'd never go to a soda shop, but I would do a juice shop. I used to, it was like a Jamba Juice. I would get like a peach or a mango, like a large peach drink for like $5. It was like peach and like little bits of pulp and sugar. It was good though, it was good. Oh God, why do all the husbands look so gay? Cause Connor, Whitney's husband, there are two Connors. Apparently, the rumor wasn't that he was on Tinder. The rumor was that he was on Grinder, And with that mustache, it, it's giving Grinder. And you know what? With all the true tea that's been coming out, I think straight people need to stop saying the gays, y'all think everybody gay, and maybe listen to us. Maybe be like, you know, hold on, hold on. They might, they might know something that we don't. They, they might be able to see family. But we all decide to get in the hot tub and oh Lord. One, all them grown couples in that baby hot tub. I mean, it wasn't a baby hot tub, but y'all gonna have that many people. You may as well get a hot pool rather than a hot tub. It was definitely given y'all was about to start swinging. Y'all was about to start pump and swing, pump and swing. So Taylor don't stay for the hot tub antics. So Taylor steps to Whitney. Any elephants in the room? Anything we want to talk to? And Whitney's like, yeah, okay. Whitney ain't got a fuck. Whitney said straight up, I don't want to have a conversation with Taylor. You know, so comparing this, the women are younger, which gives them grace for immature behavior that makes good television. There's a certain level of after 50, there's an there's a argument should be about something else and the shade should be a bit finer. That's one thing I'm noticing betwixt the two. Whitney said, now hold on, when I opened up about my husband cheating or trying to cheat in his porn addiction, this heifer brought up a possible miscarriage. Stealing my thunder, taking my moment. So I decided to snatch hers from her by not showing up at the party, making it about me. But oh Lord, Jordan brings out a little booze. Anyone want a shot? A point of contention. So Whitney, of course, is pissed. Okay, here's the thing. Jesse and Jordan asked if y'all wanted some. Y'all said no. Just because they're drinking doesn't make you drink. Like, why are you so upset about what they doing. Like, they're not making you drink. Like, where does it say, does it say you can't have people drink in your presence? Is that up in there? I don't know your scripture. If we're on different terms when it comes to the church, then let them, them, and you, you. And if you're friends, then you shouldn't be judging because that's their walk with the Lord. You need to be focused on your journey. Oh God, so now Jen is pissed too. So she gonna disinvite the uh, Jordan and Jesse from the baby blessing. Oh Lord, now we play a never have I ever interlude to swinging. Oh God, and Zach takes a drink and now Zach's parents find out. Zach is 24. And Jesse drinking is disrespectful and it almost feels, and it feels like she's spitting in my face. Y'all are really controlling. But the next day the heifers go to Botox to get some laughing gas. So y'all won't get drunk, but nitrous oxide is the ticket. At the Botox, Jen tells the girl we're hosting Luca's baby blessing, but only you, Michaela, and Whitney are invited. Not Jesse and Jordan. Not Taylor and Dakota. And Whitney's like, I wouldn't invite Taylor. Who cares? Don't feel bad. And Michaela's like, mm-hmm. Why don't you try to bring us all together rather than splitting us up? 
across town with Demi and Jesse. And Demi tells her, guess what, girl? I ain't invited to the baby blessing. Jesse's like, you know what? I ain't got my invitate either. So they say, okay, let's call the heifer and see if we invited or not. So the heifer said, well, that just feels weird inviting a ton of people he doesn't know. And it's not just about me, it's about him and Luca. So you're not invited. Jesse said, I thought you and I were the closest out of all the girls. Maybe I should clarify. Well, I did feel uncomfortable about everything that happened at the graduation party. Two sips of vodka and you ready to throw these people away. It just didn't make sense for me to invite them to such a sacred event. And you know, with a baby blessing, you just don't want any bad energy. He gonna show up drunk and hateful. So at Whitney's house, Michaela and some other heifers is getting ready. Demi considers herself a 9 out of 10, and the other girls are like, we're more Mormon than you. We can see your nipple. So apparently this heifer, so apparently this heifer gets over her husband, squats down and squirts on him, and he eating it up and say it tastes like fruity pebbles. So Whitney found this out, but one, she shouldn't have been telling her husband's business. You shouldn't have been telling your own. Nobody should know what your pussy tastes like. I don't know why Gwyneth Paltrow started a candle that smelled like genital. I'm glad your shit tastes like Fruit Loops. However, Whitney found that out and she gonna bring to me a gift and it's a big box of um of Fruit Loops or Fruity Pet, whatever pussy tastes like. Hell, at least your shit clean. Men be complaining about it. I hear it. That's why they coming to me. At least he eating pussy. What y'all husbands doing? Y'all ain't out here squirting. Why are y'all telling each other about this? And why did you need to call your husband and have a replay? Why do you care if these heifers believe you or not? And it's this big ass box of cereal too. Like you couldn't have given her like a little packet of cereal. Like, I, I, a small box. Like you really want to embarrass this heifer because your husband don't eat your pussy because he's on grinder. Your husband would rather eat ass then plow your grass. But now all the heifers are there. Then the baby brushing is brought up and it's Aki Boo. Oh, Layla uninvited too. She's like, well, I have you, Layla. You want to make sure you ain't coming, Taylor. You know you ain't coming. It's because it's Zach. That it, girl. This is a petty ass blessing. Taylor said, well, don't worry. Those three won't come to my baby blessing. I feel like my blessing is I didn't have a baby I was not prepared for. So now Whitney gives Demi her gift and she's like, so dumb, Demi pissed. Everybody laughing at her. Whitney, you are a piece of shit. You are a garcama knocking. So if you told your husband, I ain't never gonna tell nobody, why did this bitch know? Why did this, you gotta keep your business off the street. You got a husband eating pussy, don't tell nobody. They wanna see what his tongue feel like. But you a young fool, you a young fool. Taylor said, this is very hypocritical of Whitney, but Whitney's hypocritical. So everybody's over Whitney's antics, but they ain't gonna say nothing. So during the baby blessing, the uninvited girls, instead of going to church, they go bowling. Ooh. So after we say amen at the blessing, Jen really said, I'm glad I invite them other bitches. It wouldn't have been as sacred and special. They would have fucked up Jesus. Fucked them up. So Macy's birthday is coming up and she wants to plan a girl's trip with all the heifers. It's got a hot tub? Want to take a bubble bath? Mm-hmm. Girls weekend. Maybe you should bring Rob the Throb for good measure. Over with the uninvited, Taylor feels like I feel like Jen's slowly pulling away from me. Child, Jen is running and leaping away from your ass. All right, well, that was the shit. That was good shit. I, I have to say, there isn't a slow episode. Um, there's no Ryu Yu. As far as I know, no. There's no Ryu Yu. Hello.